Okay, we start here. Hello, everyone. It's uh, four thirty, and we can get started with our September 9th meeting of the Comprehensive Plan Implementation Committee. Um, yeah, I don't think we have any members of the public with us today, but if anyone shows up, we will greet them. Um, has anybody looked over the agenda? Anything to add? Anything to change? All right. Hearing nothing, let's go on to our administrative items to review and approve the minutes of July 8th. They were circulated ahead of time. Anything to be corrected there? Okay. I love silence. <laughs> Um, all right, I will take that as they are approved unanimously. Um, the only calendar item we have at the moment is the our monthly workshop this month, which is on the 17th, third Tuesday workshop from four to five. And um, unless other items show up, uh, we have some, you know, feedback items. Um, from Coffee with Recode and questions that have come into the planning department and um, online forms filled out, um, a few of them with specific concerns and comments. So we will have that to work on together. Um, yeah, so that's it for the moment. And I think, um, yeah, the planning board is sort of back with workshop schedules coming up. Um, so we're going to be hearing about that as we go forward. Okay, so into Recode. Um, it's not a lot to debrief about Coffee with Recode. We, we weren't overwhelmed with people, but there was a trickle. And some, you know, I think the very first one, I think I was here and it was in the morning and there was someone waiting for me. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and um, at that point we didn't have the online form. She very happily filled out paper form and the online form and that sort of got us rolling. And know that there were a couple of sessions where no one came, but there were a few sessions where um, few more people came. So um, it gave us a presence. I don't know what it's felt like to have the, um, the display in the lobby, but I'm sure as people are coming and going, it's at least a glance at what's going on with the Recode project. So any, any feedback from folks? Who, yeah, Andy. Yeah, I, I thought it was important to know we had representatives from the town of Van here dug great right into it. Well, they want to stay connected. Not just the <laughs> That's Jen Curtis, I think. Yeah, she left her contact. Yep. Yeah. yeah. She, she was quite interested because they're, they're about to start their process. Oh, that's great. And she didn't tell us until about halfway through. Oh. <laughs> all kinds of questions and stuff. And then all of a sudden, she told us what she was. She, she's also a top student. Yes, she was. Right, right, right. That's a good point. But I mean, the fact that she was in the business. So she can actually participate. And I'm going to just repeat some of this for the recording. Because <laughs> you're over there. Um, is that... Um, Two people from the from Bath Planning Department, Jen Curtis, um, who lives in Topsom, um, came to one of the Coffee with Rico sessions, and um, I think it's terrific that she can participate in the Rico project with two hats on. That's great. As Bath thinks about doing their code revision, um, yeah, great. Thanks for raising that, Andy. Um, any other? 
Sky told you, but we had Brock both reach out based on stuff they saw. Yes, yes. And they wanted to talk about the process of things. So Sky had a meeting with Rockwell. Made us feel very good about our process. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. It's good to feel good about something that we've been working on for quite a long time now. Yeah. This morning I did a little organizing of our Google Drive and I created folders. 2020, 2021, <laughs> 2020. <laughs> We've had some work going on. Yeah. Um, yeah. And into what we hope is a home stretch. Um, all right, so I think that was worthwhile, um, and I credit Mark with that idea. Coffee was recoded at any time of day. People were. I think coffee. Good <laughs> 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 the morning, people did not want coffee, but but we offered it, and oh. um, the the folks from uh, recreation were very willing to make the coffee because it's a little too complicated for me. Um, and you know what what comes next, I think, is you know um, workshops, planning board workshops um, that right now are focused on we're on Thursday, it's going to focus on chapter one seventy five and then other chapters. I want to say anything about what's coming up? Um, yeah, they're speaking. doing. <laughs> They're doing chapter 175 on Thursday, so that um, revisions to the site plan ordinance. And those revisions are really just reorganization of parts of the zoning ordinance that were determined to just not fit so well in the zoning ordinance. I think that comes from the code enforcement officer um, earlier in the process. And Julie wrote these. I just wrote the explanation memo, memo of the planning boards. So was kind of our last gift to us, I think. Um, so this is going to them. They're going to talk about it. and can't say, you know, what their conversations will be. Um, I have a feeling that things will go well because it's just reorganization, but that's for them to decide. And um, after that, we plan, once we're finished with 175, whether that be one meeting or more, if they need it, um, there's the plan to move to chapter 191 and 185. Um, 191 was rewritten and restructured by the consultants, and I believe was, um, workshop last summer, um, but the planning board chair and vice chair asked that it be brought back to them to just have a refresher of it. Um, and that'll include chapter 185 with that. There are about two changes to that one that are in relation to the changes that happened to subdivision about debt and growth standards. So that's what's happening with planning board right now. And then um, we're still waiting on comments from the attorney for 285. Right. And that's to get all mixed together into another draft and then that will go. Right. So do you have any sense, Mark, about the town attorney's progress on no but <laughs> I was hoping you'd be willing. Um I think the hope is in terms of scheduling, what is today, the ninth, that kind of by the end of September the comments that um, Tom has made, which are all, most of them are fairly easy to integrate, and Sky is going to do that. That, that. Those two sets of comments, the, the attorney and Tom's, can be moved through so that the planning board can schedule those next. That would be great. Okay, fingers crossed. Um, uh, would you like to receive those? Because um, at one point he was talking about sending an email that I threw out. Might be worth if he wanted to do them, like say one of your meetings or yep. planning board meeting or joint or staff and combination CPIC. Or, yeah. um, and he was open to that. So if he could do your workshop next, would you want to have him as on the agenda to give his comments in the workshop? Or... Huh. I don't, I don't know that he can. So yeah. Can well, the, I guess I would probably want to have the consult. I don't know. Um, we should probably talk. I mean, and maybe to see how things are looking. That, that's a great question. And 
I wonder if he's asking that question, have they already gotten going? Or yeah. you asked it to him. When he, Tom had raised an issue and then Bill said, yes, Tom was right, that there needs to be, uh, there were some concerns about the additional waivers, the waiver yeah. process. Yes. And so it might be more beneficial if it was, I thought, it was discussion rather than just he'll give us a memo or something. Yeah, no, I think uh, that's right. And he said he was open to doing that. So yeah. we haven't set a date yet because he was still reading through things. Guy said it may make sense to get all your comments at once. Yeah. And possibly we could schedule a special workshop. I don't know. But right. you know, or we could do something at our next meeting. I'm just looking at the date of our next meeting. Um, it's not until the 14th, so that's a little late in the process. I mean, it depends on when he's finished, I guess, is the thing. Because well, Let me ask if he thinks yeah. he could be finished by next meeting and ready to give him. And if so, we can see it with Leslie and yeah. her, at least Leslie. I think both of them need to be there because the whole conditional use piece um, and waivers and that kind of thing we need to have occur. Make a suggestion. I think it just makes it just summarizes them or puts them in the comments kind of like Tom did and then we focus on the ones that are question marks or discussion. So it might take money to get that product. Well and if, if if we suggest to him that he, he focus on the things that are not that we've already handled the minutia and the type the typos mm -hmm. we handled all that so he should he if he could focus on the substantive issues I think he'll he'll know what we need to hear from him about. Does so that your vote is to rather you rather write into that if it's something that's going to impact the planning board. Also, what we're doing, um, inviting would probably be easier to share between here and the planning. Well, and I'm not thinking it's an either or. I'm thinking it's in writing, but let's have a conversation about it. Like, you know. Conversation and confirming memo. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, it's, it's <laughs> you know, rather than to, to sort of do a memo about the whole rationale, it's like identify the, the issue. Briefly in in writing, and then have the discussion with us, um, with the consultant. Probably is my guess, but we can maybe hold that, see how things yeah. progress, and schedule as needed. Great, okay, that's exciting. Um, so in terms of recode timeline, um. After these other chapters, 175, 191, 185, go through the workshop process with the planning board, then what we just discussed, the 225, sort of get revised, and that will be represented to the planning board. Um, of course, they've, and they've already, the planning board will have already looked at it carefully. I would assume that the highlights would be one few, maybe half a dozen substantive issues. Um, I'm thinking, hoping that by the end of October, that process will be complete, workshopped, which is 225, it's a big chapter, <clears throat> and that then we would move on with. For the planning board to look at Article Two in Chapter Two Twenty Five, which is the the tops and center zones and the four base code. I didn't realize you were separating those two, and I was like, I think the end of October is really idealistic for them to have done all of Two Twenty Five. But yeah. now I understand what yeah. you're saying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is a, is a quick turnaround. <laughs> They've actually. You know, there have been, I think, two workshops with the planning board. Of course, they were preliminary, you know, and and revisions have been made. Um, but now this draft is the public draft. And I think when they look at Article 2 in Chapter 225, 
knows how many workshops that require, but we will have gone through some workshops for the comments that we've been getting. Um, and I'm hoping, Andy Sturgeon, that there is a um, product in terms of a site plan trying out of something in the mixed commercial zone. Um, is that still a project that's well, happening? I was going to include that in the update that I gave you. The, uh, okay. Couple. Okay. But what day are you talking about? You'd like that. Do you have a solid day yet? No. Okay. I mean, it's, you know, we have, we have two workshops, you know, one each month. And I think that the, depending, I mean, I don't know how much time the comments and things are going to be taking in this coming workshop in September. But if if that project is ready, we would look at it as soon as it's so I'm thinking maybe October. Yeah, at the end. Or whenever you you need to leave soon. Five fifteen. We'll be done by then. I'll be back by then. Okay. Any comments or questions about um, moving this the, about the timeline? It, it's obviously work in progress, and a lot of this is not in our hands in terms of how the work gets done. Um, so will the COVID period close by next Tuesday? Is that our is that a deadline in terms of? No, no. Um, why are you? Surprised? I'm just curious. Yeah, like if it's still open, it is open. Still, it's still on yeah. the website. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Still on the website, and um, but at the moment, we're not doing anything actively to sort of to draw attention to it. You know, to drive traffic to it. Um, you, Sky, are you yeah? Are yeah. you getting calls still or emails occasionally about so much about? We have mentioned it to people before who were concerned, um, just in a general sense. So, you know, we're going through a reboot process. You can leave the drafts here. You can find the comment forms here. Yeah. Um, we've, we've directed several people to that. Probably not in the last week or so. Well, yeah. Weeks. So, you know, the, the, I think the close of the comment period is only, um, it's only going to happen at the point where we're getting ready for an absolute. Um, I think, you know, where we're, we've gone through, because we're going through another round of revision. We thought this draft would be it, but then we got a fine tooth comb reading of it um, by the code enforcement officer. And there's more, you know, there's a little more to do. So it's going through another set of revisions, which is great because it means the product that we're going to. Uh, the other end with will be. So I think the, the item here that says online form utilization and update, that's what we'll, all of the comments and, and Sky has created a spreadsheet um, to track those. We'll look at those in the workshop. Um, I think we've gotten about eight or 10. That eight, sounds like eight, right. Yeah. And they're a combination, I think about half are fairly general, um, but it shows where people's concern is. You know, affordable housing, safe, walkable streets. Um, and then you've got some very focused on waivers and variances and things like that. So all for workshop discussions. Any thoughts? I mean, we are going to have a wonderfully short meeting here. <laughs> <laughs> our, do we have a? We don't. And the, the reason we don't is, you know, the open house is when it's all done. <laughs> Meaning, it's not that no further changes can be made. We can, but that all of the, um, that the planning board has weighed in, that, that, that the attorney has weighed in all of the sort of 
in-house expertise as well as stakeholder concerns have been addressed. And then it will be ready for um, an open house. And there's no point, I think, putting something on the calendar. We've done that before and had to move it, you know. Um, and I don't think that's folks are thinking. I always rely on, you know, the manager to think about where it can be. It's extremely busy. It might end up being right here. Um, it might be the next one. Would be the scenario that the Indies put together. Is there maybe other, if we did that say in the evening, might be others interested in coming and watch that, understanding it too. Some of the people that the property owners that have been sort of early. Say another community forum. Yes, I think you might want to see it. So they would might do it. Oh, we can do it. Great, great. Yeah. But I mean, I just, we want to digest what the like. implications are. You know, my hope is that they're good. Yeah. You don't want that to be shown. Yeah. Well, and we want to be able to, I think, to anticipate so. where um, adjustments right. might be wanted. Okay. Because I think that is a really good way to try to understand rather than reading plain text that Absolutely. can be applied, maybe a better educational event than yep. some of the other things. Yeah. And it does play that. Boost it up a little bit. Let's just have this first one of those two lots. Things we do. Just to see how those two come out. Interesting. Okay. Got a workshop. My mentality <laughs> going on. I like that. Okay. So, um, so our last community forum was on the 18th of June. And, you know, I don't know in this process, like, should there be another one with, I mean, we had, I think we had 17 people other than staff and interns who came. So um, I would guess that we would have a similar, if not larger turnout if we had a session where we actually went through all of the concerns that were substantive that were raised at that, you know, um, or we might want to do that. I don't foresee that yet, but sometimes we think a month ahead and then put it on the calendar. So I'm open to it. Any thoughts before we move on to liaison updates? Just one more clarify. Yeah. Um, so the the next draft, like with all of the comments and you integrated that would be what is presented at this open house yes yes so this, does that make sense to you Scott? I think so. yeah yeah that would be like fine right however the planning board's thinking is that these chapters that um involve sort of reorganization not chapter 225 Chapters 175, 191, 185, those chapters would be, um, there'd be a public hearing on those once they're complete, I think. And then, yeah, if she's okay, and then you see, do that. Okay, <laughs> great, great. <laughs> All right. We can, so <laughs> hold on, but that theoretically, the answer is yes, all of those things will be um, and will be viewed and and on display um, for people to think about, you know, at the open house. So I guess I'm wondering if there's a, uh, a close of the comment period before that draft. That would make sense. I, I mean, the, the, I think that um, as long as the comment, as long as the form is on the website, comments, the implication is for open comments. Yeah, I almost think 
maybe they don't get applied to the direct survey, but I think we keep comments open right up to town meeting. <laughs> you know, the people can certainly make comments and this maybe the comment wasn't included in this draft, but my planning board yep. considers it they review it or we're not getting so many that I think this is going to be a deluge of comments that we have to keep. That it provides an opportunity. I would agree with Mark. I think it provides an opportunity for those who have thoughts to get them to us. And depending on where we are in the process, we can incorporate them in a draft or we can try to address them. I just, I think that if we take it off it, I don't know. I don't think it really hurts. It might appear that we're no longer. Yeah. 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 But then what's the. Um, how do the comments get like what happens with the comments that can't make it to the draft? I think that if you're speaking of the next draft period, we could pull together any comments and potentially bring them to the shops <clears throat> and they could go to like, the planning board was meeting and they were talking about section. 10 and there was a community comment on that. You could give them that comment and say this was a comment we received on the section if you'd like to take this to look at it. And that's just my thought off hand. Um, or we could kind of combine all of them and say these are the comments we received during this process and have CPIC do it again. Um, I think that there's this next draft and then that we want to. Another draft after the planning board workshops. Well, I think there's going to be another draft, and then there's going to be a fun. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 All workshops. Addressing those comments in the Right. That goes to the public hearing. So, you you can end up with comments and marks and all the way to the town meeting. The town meeting, yeah, not necessarily mean you have to do the same. We need to incorporate that comment into right. just this is what's being this presented. Is, this is what this is going forward to town meeting. meeting. Vote on it, yes or no. If you don't yep. like that, yep. that one little provision that this place comma, vote no. Yeah. And, and allowing the comments to be there could also help this group understand how to think about things because sometimes it's not that something needs to be changed, it's just how something needs to be approached. You think you and I have talked about that before. Yeah. You know, if there's concerns about this thing, oh, we're realizing it's actually possible, but maybe it was confusing. And, you know, if it's beyond the point where things can change, it helps know how this is here. Thanks for thinking about that. Yeah. Okay. It seems that we're ready to move on to liaison updates. And I think it's become clear that I am the only person who's sort of possibly interfacing with the vice pedestrian committee, which is probably not a good thing. <laughs> um, and so what I'm wondering is, is that something that I think we'll have conversations outside this meeting about something interested actually. I think you could. You could? They're meeting tonight, their yep. first meeting with their new charge. And their new charge is to work on a Tweet Streets policy for the town. They're also going to work on a traffic calming toolbox. So, some ideas that can be applied. Someone calls on a particular neighborhood, and if everyone's speeding on my street, then there's going you know, to have strategies uh, that can be employed to try to reduce that experiment with whatever might be. Um, so they're going to come up with policies, procedures. Garment has something similar. Um, so tonight's their first meeting, working on all that, and uh, they're going to they have a two year term to work on accomplishing. Great, Mark. What was the first task that they had? They're going to work on a complete streets policy. Um, and some things may be, and actually, policy may not be the right word. It could be an ordinance, it could be a combination of both. You know, it's like policy part is probably more applicable to say what the town does. So, if the town's repaving a development, it should consider blah, blah, blah. 
Um, on the other hand, there may be things, if you're requiring a new subdivision to have a sidewalk that would need to be incorporated in the town ordinance. So, yeah. um, so they haven't said it's, they have, because they haven't done the work yet, hasn't been determined how much is policy, how much is ordinance, but they're going to be working on that project mm -hmm. to right. come up with proposals. Main DOT has one that I guess is going to be coming up soon. Um, so they're going to look at that pretty heavily because to the extent we can try to follow the rest of the state, that probably makes sense. It's going to do something completely different. And it may or may not be helpful to see the work that CPIC did early on because it wasn't even CPIC, it was town planning staff, which was, you know, yep. a fair amount of work for, for them. And and maybe MDOT has moved beyond that now. So. But that's what they're going to do. Yeah, great. Great. Thank you, Mark. How about an update on other things? No. <laughs> do you want to, Andy, do you want to yeah, go ahead? Robert. Yeah. I think you are all aware that we engaged Mike Pierce in a contract to do a study um, on where we need infrastructure enhanced. It started out focused being on the west side of 295, but it turned into um, bigger area only because we figured we realized there's areas on the east side within our area, our recode area that really are insufficient with sewer and water. And um, so we, we worked on a scope of work and we signed a contract with them a couple of weeks ago. And we had the kickoff meeting today. It took a couple of hours between Kurt and I and Wright Pierce. Oh. I haven't filled you in. Um, but it went very well, and, and things that came out of that meeting was, how do we, this is right Pierce talking, how do we um, anticipate the growth in the recode area because of the efforts being done by CPIC? What, what, what are you going to change that's going to allow a larger, smaller opportunity for growth? So um, I gave them a... a you know, just a summary of what we've been doing, but they're going to reach out to Sky and probably you too, Susan, Great. and with questions, and then we can bring those bigger questions into the whole. They're looking at factors of growth, yes. So when they look at a, a, a vacant piece of property and the sewer or water going by, what could be there? Yeah, in and, five or 10 to 20 years. Right. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, we design this um, infrastructure improvements. And we want to make sure that we cover now. And it went pretty well. I mean, it was, again, a couple hours, and we looked at all the areas, and it's pretty exciting. We expect to have a draft, which is pretty neat. We'll be able to look at that and see what we're dealing with for the areas um, and for, for needs in that area. And we're going all the way from the annex all the way across to 95 up 96 to. And a wide swap to go through, including um, including the mall, mall area, the areas, um, Stanley, Stanley, yeah. top, then top, so two, yes, quite, yeah. quite an area. Great. Just looking at you know, what we need to do. Improvements. So, any questions on that? Yeah, just a one is what is the kind of guideline you're giving them in terms of the horizon, the historical horizon. Are they trying are we trying to have them think 10 years out, 20 years out? <laughs> you know, no, like, we're thinking we're thinking what could be the maximum of this past. Okay. It isn't whether There's it will a, happen within a certain time frame. Yeah. It would be what's the hundred acres Whenever. what's the max build out of hundred acres? Okay. What's the need Got it. for that hundred acres? Yeah. And then in the other areas in there too, other than the hundred acres, how how do they factor in? And I'll give you an example. There's a pretty big vacant parcel on the east, but the north side of ninety six going west, right hand side. It's got a lot of wetlands undeveloped. So we're we're looking at those type of demographics to yeah. determine the needs. So it would be a full build, up. and then you you know it doesn't mean you build, but you yeah. Yes, they didn't. The cost might just blow us away <laughs> to get it across. But, but they're even going to look at things like should we ask the OT if we could hang the sewer and the water underneath the overpass, or do we have to drill underneath 295? We're going to look at a lot of those different 
right. metrics and see if we can come up with something. Um, big factors are going to be someone might just go ahead and buy that hundred acres right now and say, I don't want to pay. It's going to, it's going to be worthwhile for me to pay for that right now. How much, is, how much does it cost if we get going? Uh, we don't have any idea of what Christmas we want. And I don't anticipate anybody would be doing that before Christmas, but you know, no, it has been a lot of interest in, in tops and in general. So, um, other than that, discussion about the scenarios and it's simply the engineers and the time to everybody's schedules so busy we really want to see that comes um that they would have it done shortly this is crystal andrew who's an yeah. engineer i guess that incurred himself to engineers that have done a lot of that type of development and they just want to throw our Ideas on, on a piece of paper and see how they two 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 prices the ninety nine restaurant so and then the street across the street and another one on on dollars and pair I think it was weird it's a double was it the Sherwin Williams or not? yeah I'm just okay. yeah so it sounds like over the next. Three, four weeks, we're hoping. Yeah. We have our next board meeting, which will be just things in general. So we can place. Okay. So busy. I mean, but... yeah. Great. Okay. Any questions, thoughts for Andy? All right. Any other? I have one other one. One the movie center committee. Yes. Oh, yes. Here. Um, they finished up their last charge and term last week, and they gave the report on the needs analysis that Harriman had did with them, and then the selectmen decided they want to go to phase two, so they were given a new charge and term, and they've got a year to work with Harriman to help um, identify a site for the community center preliminary design, come up with costs, and so that's what they're going to be working on. So is that report, the Harriman report, is that available? Yep, it's on, on the, the website. town website. The great, Center page. great. Thank you. Terrific. Um, yeah. All right. Progress in the deep of summer. <laughs> And we will be doing our update um, a week from Thursday, so the 19th, Thursday the 19th. We'll be giving that at the select board. So, cheer me on. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready to adjourn. This is not the earliest ever, but close. <laughs> And work work our way back into heavy work gradually. All right, adjourned at five oh nine.